Today, I want to talk about Abraham Adolf Frankel by me, Gio. Who is Abraham Frankel, you would ask? Well, Abraham Frankel was a Israeli mathematician. He was he studied and also led slash directed or served as a rector for the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, as you can see there. Abraham Frankel was born in Munich, Germany, but he would later on switch citizenship to Israeli citizenship, where he would then be known as Israeli mathematician. But before that, Abraham Frankel studied in Germany and after he graduated from Germany in 1919, he would go on to serve in World War I as a medic slash meteorologist for the German army. Following the German World War I, he would uh, then go on to continue his studies in math. And what did he study? Well, Ger Abraham Frankel studied all about set theory. And set theory is basically a foundation of mathematics where you're looking at sets of numbers and how they correlate with each other as well as how they influence mathematics. And he would go on to look at Zermelo's work on set theory and groups and would expand sort of also verifying his work, Zermelo's work on sets and groups to create a list of axioms, which would be known as Zermelo Frankel axioms. His work on sets would also his work on set theory would also be included in essays on the foundations of mathematics, which is a group collective of essays written on the foundations of mathematics from the University of or the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. And how does that affect you or us? Well. If you ever do get a chance to take calculus in high school, you're going to understand that hyperreals are a thing, or you might not even learn about them, but hyperreals are numbers that exist in calculus where they are sort of infinitely small numbers, but never equal to zero. So you can always have like a number smaller than one half, or a number smaller than one and one thousandth. And that just infinite loop to finding the smallest number is going to be hyper real. If you also ever start learning about proofing and start doing proof work or take a proofing class in high school, you will get the basic foundations of what groups are and this will go into set theory and you will basically be diving into Frankel's work on set theories. So basically understanding how group numbers or number groups works and such would dive you into set theory. A bonus! Frankel worked closely with Albert Einstein, even having close talks where Albert Einstein you know, um, praised his devout Jewism, and he would also have opposing views with Albert Einstein of what foundations of calculus should uh, revolve around, which Albert Einstein didn't think uh, continuity would serve a big factor in calculus, but Frankel did. And also bonus, as I said earlier, he was an Israeli, which he converted to, and not converted, but he switched citizenship to in the in his later years after he faced all the prejudice from living in Germany after World War One, and would later kind of sort of denounce his belief that he should be a German mathematician. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.